Desperado here again, and today we're going to continue my camera path tutorial. Uh, we're going to do easy path today. And you can see I'm at Earth Space Dock in the shipyard. You can see a big ass whale over here. Uh, a few shuttle pods, I have no idea what the hell those are called. I've never seen them before, and they're kind of stupid. Uh, and the galaxy in the background, and over here in the corner is the Excelsior. So, well, look, this is Earth Space Dock. And this is one thing I like about demo recorders. You can see these different places from different points of view. If I look over there, the shipyard from where you see it normally in game is over, right over there. It's about center frame at this point. If you look over there, more shuttle pods, yeah. But uh, let's do this. I'm going to go down to Club 47 because that's where I was when I recorded this, along with a friend. Good old Club 47. This is where I was when I recorded this demo file. Remember that thing I said about handles? Well, this is why. Notice my time index is at zero. Uh, that's because the demo file just started. Now, it takes about three to five seconds for everything to load up after you start playing back. That's why I always said give yourself a five second margin for a demo file. I think our plan today is just going to be, you know, quick camera slide around Club 47, out the door, out into space, and then out this way. Where I would probably, if I was making an actual movie, put in a transition to a space map where I actually saw my ship out there somewhere. It would look really cool in the final picture. So uh, let's show you how to do this. Lieutenant Yaris always dances over here. I think I'm going to start the camera path over here. Actually, let's start it by the bar. I got a better idea. Let's start it at the sign. I'm going to let the video play up to about five or six seconds just so I can see where the placement of everyone is in the in the club. Alright, let's do this. Bring up the path editor. And bring up path list, which should be open when the first time you open the path editor. It should be open by itself. We're going to click add path. And select easy path, because that's what I'm teaching you today. Easy path, as its name suggests, is easy. So let's minimize everything on the path list. And just bring up points list and basic path. Now, when I click Add Point, another menu is going to pop up. See, Add Point. This popped up. The Select a Point menu popped up now that I have a point in there. I still need Point List, Basic Path, and Select a Point, but you can see they're kind of going down off my monitor. I got a scroll bar here to help me out. But all the buttons that I'm going to need are already visible so I'm not going to use the scroll bar. Now you can set this thing to go about a 50% transparency if you need to to help you place it. Just remember where the center point of your camera is. Center camera is center frame of the camera is always the center point of your monitor when you set the path. Now you saw how I added that point, right? That's how you add every single point in Easy Path. You just pick where you want the camera to be and where you want it to be looking and click add point. So I've picked my camera position for the next point and just like last time I just click add point. Now, now we have to pick when we want the camera to reach this point. And like I said, this is the part that kicks everyone's ass when they first start doing this. I want it to be about a 10 second scroll down. 
So at 10 seconds, it's going to be a pretty good speed, a good speed for me. Now, remember, you want a 3 second hold before you actually see anything. This camera path up here is looking at a model which is generated already anyway. As it scrolls down to this position, uh, I want it to take about 10 seconds to reach this position. And by the time it hits this position, these characters in the background and the ones over here will already be loaded up. So I'm not going to have a hold in this path. I'll do that with the next one. So to set, when I want the camera to hit point 2 here, I'm going to put 10 seconds in the time slot down here on the selected point menu. Now the camera is going to hit this point at 10 seconds. Now, I want the next camera point to be here and I want it to be looking, I want it to start kind of moving over to look this way. I'm not very far from my first camera point, second camera point though. So in order to keep it from being a sharp turn, I want it to be kind of a smooth arc. So I'm going to do another point halfway in between looking here and looking there. So this bush seems about right. And I want it to take 5 seconds to get to this point, so it'll be 15 seconds. As a word of advice, you may always want to enter your seconds in here in whole numbers and multiples of 5 or multiples of an even number if it's not 5. So multiples of 2 or 4. This, this makes it easy to count. You want to use whole numbers so you avoid working with decimals. If you do have to use a decimal number for whatever reason, use 0.5. That half a second isn't going to be very noticeable and trust me when I say 0.5 is the easiest one to work with. So let's add the next path, put our point. I'll just bring it forward a little bit and move it over here. And I want to hit here at about 20 seconds. Now I learned from playing Saints Row 2 that you should save every so often. And I wish Path Editor had an auto save, but it doesn't. So you might want to keep a watch on hand and save every five to ten minutes or whenever you've made a major change to your path now I'm just gonna go on and add a few more points and I'm doing it the same way every time so to save video time I'm gonna go ahead and complete the rest of the path